Hello everyone. I just want to look at a book today, dive into design patterns. So I've covered a lot of the basics and obviously you've got the Rust book. So one of the things with Rust is kind of the book is the Bible, isn't it? So um, <laughs> nearly all the tutorials will say will kind of relate to the book and then you end up with uh, just a lot of replication of, of the learning stuff. So I thought I'd uh, go a bit off paste and um, introduction to OOP relation between objects. So this is how the book starts. So although it's um, uh, <laughs> although it's actually um, design patterns, it kind of goes into OOP for the first 50 odd pages, encapsulation, polymorphism, inheritance and so on obviously inheritance is not so uh, relevant to rust but this book is uh, mainly or pretty much entirely pseudocode so it's a good book even if you're into more into python or you, you you're trying to learn several languages or if you, you know, you're at university and you're learning you know java c c sharp whatever so um yeah so you've got uh, Intro to design patterns, software design principles, design principles, then you go to solid, and then we get down to the actual nitty gritty, which is uh, the category. So you've got the creational design patterns, you've got a factory method, the abstract factory, um, builder. So I still need to learn a lot of these. Um, interesting, some of them you might have actually come across while you've been studying. So the builder I've already kind of come across and used. Um, I can I could do the builder just if someone says you know in an interview room they say write a builder pattern you could do that singleton so that's commonly now used for sort of um, uh, like a database connection that you ensure that a class has only one instance while providing a global access point to this instance factory method which I'm in the process of learning I've kind of come across um, uh, the factory method whilst learning uh, dynamic dispatch in Rust. The UML diagrams are great here. So factory method, blah, blah, blah. So you've got these UML diagrams and it really helps. You can kind of, um, if you go to near the start, he actually explains the the way these UML diagrams work. Uh, see if I can find it while I'm talking. Should I learn patterns, software design principles? Um, somewhere it, it discusses the UML and it's kind of the first time I've really um, paid attention to. There we go. So relations between objects. So the UML dependency, and you've got a uh, dependency. Um, you've got an association so on so this is like uh quite you know it's borderline academic but it's once you read it you just uh, i think that's that's really cool i've learned a lot here so then you can go off and practice it um you obviously just wouldn't read the book or and just put it down and then think you know it or you um probably uh, what i will be doing is um taking some of these design patterns um I will be using the Refactor and Guru site as well, obviously, because it's got these examples in here. So if you scroll down far enough, you'll get to this is so cool. You've got all the different languages for with code examples. So we're looking at singleton pattern, click on Rust, um, Rust specific. So there you've got a safe singleton. And now you can see you've got um, a function which modifies the global state. Um, so it's a mutable reference. So it doesn't return anything because it's effectively changing uh, the global state. Uh, so it saves passing variables around. <clears throat> when you instantiate global state variable, you just say it's a number zero, U32. Then you just call change and you just pass in your global state mutable. A reference to immutable global state. Ampersand not there, so ampersand not there. So that's fairly straightforward. Um, 
probably worth memorizing some of these. I mean, the single turn, probably the builder pattern. I'm going to um, practice the factory <clears throat> as the adapter there. So again, Jeremy Chone on, uh, if you've watched his video today, so uh, where are we? 8th of September, 2024, Jeremy Chone was talking about the adapter pattern. So if you know some of these patterns, it, a lot of other tutorials will make make sense. That's just my thoughts. Uh, dive into design patterns, 1595 from, from Alex. Um, it's so well written. It's just um, nice font, really easy to read, really nicely laid out. Um, <clears throat> just, <laughs> I don't know if in England we, there's an advert where the, the man says it does what it says on the tin. And I think that's what this does, it's design patterns. Great diagrams. Good humor, um, good examples. Not too. Um, so it's uh, 411 pages. So if you buy it, you're getting good value for money for 15 pounds. Probably be 15 dollars, something similar in in the US. So yeah, I recommend it. I'm gonna um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm not gonna try and just do it all uh, from the start to the finish, but I, I'm just gonna pick out the bits that I think are useful for me at the state that I'm at. So um, yeah, I'll be doing the factory pattern. And I think the creational patterns, I'll probably go through the factory. The adapter, because Jeremy Cho mentioned it. Um, so there we go. I, I, won't, I won't talk anymore because uh, yeah, time is valuable and we all need to get on with what we're doing. But this book I would recommend. I think it's um, really good. I'm really impressed. And this website as well. So you've got all the examples here anyway. Um, but if you want it, if you want uh, the full 400 pages, then definitely buy the book. So thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, thanks to Alec Alexander. <laughs>